given the range of products and services that companies like JP Morton, IBM, Unilever, all of you are in, what do you see, uh, what do you see the role of branding and what do you see the challenges in addressing those? Branding is the core of our business. And why I say that the core of our business is that uh, most often it's mistaken that you do branding, only advertising is branding. So going out to your consumers, directly talking to them through advertising, social media or other forms is the part of branding. But branding is more about your culture, your promise, what you do. It's branding inside out as opposed to outside in. So in general, like Unilever and other places, you would find you do advertising, you create demand, and then get uh, consumers coming and buying your products and services. To a large extent in financial services, and I would uh, say even for IBM in some ways, is that how do you really equip your employees to become a marketer? So I, uh, I would say that every employee is a marketer. We are asking employees to step up even more and take your message, the culture, what you stand for, what, how you behave yourself, take that to your clients and customers as you go along. We've never wanted IBM to be known or to be defined by the things we are selling. So at least for us, that's a big strategic decision. That's a big one. We are not gonna define the company by what we offer you to buy. What then defines the company? And the language we use uh, is the character of the company. And, and by that we mean our purpose, we mean our values, and we mean you know, how we are. We had gone through another big change in the company, selling the PC business and lots of things, getting into a whole set of new businesses, massive confusion about what IBM was, and, but we didn't answer it with an ad campaign or something, because we didn't want to put into your head the, the, the new portfolio, mm -hmm. only to dynamite it out of your head five, 10, 15 years later when we had marched on to something else. It is about sort of how do you use your global reach, right, from a branding point of view and from a scale benefit and, and so all the advertising and so forth that goes behind it. And frankly, the consistency, because in a, you know, a flatter world, right, people are looking for that consistency in the, and while you know, we say it's a VUCA world, right, it's volatile, it's uncertain, it's complex and it's ambiguous, um, people look to brands for the things that don't actually change. So I think there is something very nice about a global brand keeping to its roots. But while you have global reach, certainly at Unilever and we have it, um, it's also important to have local intimacy. And so uh, in any of our global brands, while we have all sorts of guidelines about how to manage the brand with respect to what its positioning is and so forth, um, there's all sorts of local partnerships that we also develop to really bring it to life. So for example, you know, whether it's connecting with, uh, in Dove's case, with the Girl Scouts or Girls Inc. or any of those things, when you get to the grassroots of everything, this is when it, the, the magic comes in with branding, frankly.